my bat safe worked when this battery became this battery. Stay tuned, I want to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Joel Lightcatcher. Thanks for joining me again. And I got a story about how this little three cell 550 battery just flamed out right behind me. I was sitting right over there doing some web surfing and I had my battery going into a discharge because I wasn't going to use it for a while when I heard the sound go <laughs> sounded like a uh, skyrocket, a muffled skyrocket taking off. Turned around and a plume of smoke was coming out of here. I knew immediately what happened. Ripped the wires out, took the charger out, grabbed the box and ran outside and put it down. And it was kind of warm and it smelled pretty bad, but it was intact. And when I finally let it cool down, opened it up and there was the charred mess. Over here is, there's my battery, what's left of it. These cables, I mean, it smells pretty bad right now. There's part of the battery on this cable, which may still be usable. These JST connectors look like they're pretty hosed. I wouldn't trust them. Um, anyway, so I got about, between the battery and these cables I had to buy again, well, you know, maybe about 50 bucks in damage. And I'm probably going to buy another one of these boxes, even though it says that I can just clean all the schmutz up and this should be good enough to use again. And yeah, I'll do that, but I think I'm going to buy another box because this thing pretty much saved my room, if not my house. At very best, the whole ceiling here would have been blackened from smoke. I would have had to repaint it. Maybe the wall would have had some damage, and at worst, could have melted my TV, lost my quads, burned down the room if I had papers around there. This seemed to be a whole lot better than the old ammo box that we all have. And I'm worried now that if one of these batteries were to just go off in the middle of the night, it could like set up all the batteries in a chain reaction, because I hear they go up to like 700 degrees Fahrenheit, or maybe that's Celsius, I don't know, 700 degrees something, and that could be really bad. So. I wish I had enough money that I could buy a whole bunch of these bat safes just to store my batteries with, but unfortunately that's kind of expensive. But I'm probably going to buy another one of these. So I got to say, highly recommend the bat safe. Anyone who deals with LiPo batteries needs to get one of these to save their house and or apartment and or everything they own. Not to mention the embarrassment and loss of uh, <laughs> social dignity when this thing just totally, well, when your batteries fail and you're living quarters goes up and you have to tell everyone uh, how badly you didn't protect your stuff and yeah, you don't want to go there. Anyway, get a bat safe, save yourself a lot of grief and uh, even a $16 battery can cause an enormous amount of damage uh, if you don't have some safe way of charging this. Thanks, I'm Joel Lightcatcher and by the way, if you found this video useful, interesting, amusing, please Hit the like button, slam the uh, notification bell, and you'll hear when I put another battery battery video up on uh, drones and computers and other assorted tech stuff that tickles my fancy. Thanks very much. I'm Joel Lightcatcher. See you next time in the air. Bye.